People said that he had pressure on his shoulders last year because he hadn't won a finals MVP. And what did he do? He put every, he put that whole conversation I to bed. Roz is going to give us three reasons why the Warriors can win it all this year. You've been covering this team all year. You were on the sidelines for Steph Curry's first two championships with the Warriors. So as he's eyeing his fifth championship, why can they win it all this year? Hmm. I mean, well, we got to start with just everything that the success revolves around. And you said his name, Stephen Curry. I mean, the star power, the productivity, the accuracy, the volume, the efficiency of which he continues to produce with. Keep in mind, also at the age of 35. You look tired, you know? oh, hey. His dependability, his consistency, uh, not just as a shot maker, but as a space creator, as a shot creator, as someone who can finish, as someone who can create for others, um, someone who is stronger than people think, someone who has great mental toughness, is a winner, shows up when it matters most, is one of the most elite competitors, and has a team that has less talent, you know, just overall than it has in past uh, championship teams and still continues to carry the load and, and make them a contender type team. He's the modern MJ. Stephen Curry, not only just from his production on the court, but also who he is as a leader um, and as a person permeates the rest of the organization and puts them in a position to, to have a shot. I got that baby. People said that he had pressure on his shoulders last year because he hadn't won a finals MVP. And what did he do? He put, every, he put that whole conversation to bed. The best shooter this game has seen. And here's the signature. Night, night. So <laughs> he's coming into these playoffs with, with virtually no pressure other than just being himself. And so as he's getting more healthy, it's going to be really interesting to see what kind of form he can he can get into as the season and the playoffs go along. So what about your second reason that this team can win another chip? I'm gonna point to another player specifically, and that's Draymond Green. And you know, it's what he brings to the table in his IQ, his intellect about the game, and then his just heart and fire um, and how he can rouse up not only his team, but the opponent. You know, Draymond's going to win you like one or two games in a playoff series that you might not have might not have supposed to have won. You know, that wasn't looking good your way. He really can create something out of nothing. And let's start on the emotional and just the the heart side of things. You know, in a recent um, example against the Pelicans, able to kind of create tension that the Warriors were then able to build off of and mount a huge comeback against the Pelicans, that starts with Draymond Green's fire. And it also gave us a show that, hey, despite how the season started for the Warriors, Draymond still has the pulse of the team. The, the team's still rocking with the energy that he can create and bring. And we were down 20. It take a real one to talk when you're down 20. And I was able to get my guys going, and then they started doing what they do, and I can do what I do. Um, and then also his just intellect, you know, Draymond really understands where to be his anticipation, his understanding of scouts, of tendencies uh, um, as a defensive player and his ability to quarterback and communicate that and cover up the mistakes of teammates or put them in the right positions defensively. Draymond wins games defensively as, you know, just like Stephen Curry might win it offensively. So Draymond is absolutely that guy and, and can control a game emotionally, an important piece to the Warriors being able to overcome what they might lack this season. He's one of the best defenders of all time. He's the best defender I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, he has and will always be the Warriors X Factor. So Steph, Draymond, they're your first two reasons why the Warriors can win a chip. How about your third and final reason? You know, every NBA season is different, is unique. Um, there's a different path and journey to take. And that's the case for this Warriors team. You know, currently they sit here, they haven't seen Andrew Wiggins in, you know, a multitude of games for reasons that they've decided to respect and keep in house, but the show keeps going. You know, Stephen Curry's missed games. They've had a number of different injuries and the lineups and rotations have changed. They've had players uh, traded in and out. You know, we get a little, a little chaotic with, with Draymond and Steph and Clay sometimes. You know, so this team has been in flux 
for a lot of the season. And what I would point to as the third reason that they can win is I've seen improvement and evolution of key players for the Warriors. Let's talk about Klay Thompson to start. At the top of the season, he might've looked like he was uncomfortable, a little bit pressing. He seems to, have, seems to have relaxed. He also has played his way into shape. He didn't really work out in the summer for you know reasons where he just had to get over a mental hump and kind of sat out. Well, this time he was able to play through it, get in shape, get more fit. He looks physically more ready to, to just dominate and have spurts of incredible shooting and, and impact. He's also evolved his mindset about around what his role is and what he needs to do for this team. Patience with shooting. He's playing more minutes at the forward and the four spot. And a lot of that also has to do with the changing body and aid that comes with age. He's committed to being more physical, committing to getting more rebounds. He's And that's something that productivity on that side has helped the team on top of how well he shoots. So I feel great. I feel like my conditioning is where it needs to be. And I promise you this, when we're healthy, no one wants to see us in the postseason. <laughs> I guarantee that. Let's look at another guy who's gotten more opportunity with all the fluctuations happening for the Warriors, Dante DiVincenzo. You know, here's somebody who just understands his role and comes in there and gives it to Steve Kerr. You know, he brings that for him. He's going to come out there, bring effort, play some hard on the ball defense and be a mega pest and just give so much work and then push the pace and kick that ball around. Keep it swinging when he's out there, especially with that top, you know, with the with the star players. He understands his role. And then you but don't be afraid to knock down an open shot. Just letting it fly. And if it goes in, great. If it doesn't, just get back on defense. And then finally, another player I'm really excited about is Jonathan Kaminga. He is fascinating with all of the athleticism and talent that he has. And I feel like from the beginning of the season to this point now, as we head towards a, a postseason, it seems like the game has slowed down for him a lot. He's just making simpler, better decisions, smaller plays that add up and make good plays within a possession on top of the high flying big dunk things. He's, he understands how to fit into a more cerebral Warriors offense for this team. So the improvement and evolution of, of key players, I think is important to support what, what Steph Curry can do and also Draymond Green. Yeah, and in any Warriors championship, the supporting cast have always played a huge role in winning their championship. So what is, though, the one thing that can stop this team from winning a championship this year? Um, it's a lack of consistency. I mean, primarily on the road. We all know that they have just not been good on the road. They have not been road warriors. <laughs> For lack of a pun there. Okay, pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the struggles on the road have to often always start with their defense. I mean, the inability to defend without fouling, um, the difference in home and on the road, the giving up of open three-pointers, a lack of con concentration, perhaps it's the communication, I don't know, but they have to work on that. So defending without fouling, defending the three-point line, and also, you know, their turnovers hurt their defense. And the Warriors always have the Achilles heel of, sometimes they get willy-nilly with the ball, and when you turn it over, you don't even give your defense a chance to set up. So they're just in a, in a position of, you know, uh, momentum plays for the other team, and it's sucking the wind out of them when they shoot themselves in the foot. And I know that they are the Warriors and there's a championship experience. And I do think that matters. But these habits that they haven't been able to show that they could break in the regular season are concerning because you're not really clear what Warriors you're going to get consistently all the time. So that is something I'm worried about. So much when we were watching LeBron's run towards the finals, you are like, you can't bet against LeBron James making the finals. With the Warriors, it's hard to bet against if the Warriors make it all the way to the end, betting against the Warriors. But can they make it to the end? We will see. Thank you, Roz, for counting it up. One, two, three reasons why the Golden State Warriors can win the championship this year.